<laughs> Top Gun 2 is finally gearing up, and now Tom Cruise is sharing some new details about what fans can expect from the sequel. Speaking with Access Hollywood, Cruise said the aim with Top Gun 2 is to keep the same tone and vibe of the first movie, right down to Harold Faltermeyer's 80 score. Cruise also revealed he has a different title in mind for the movie rather than just Top Gun 2, saying, It's not going to be called Top Gun 2, it's going to be Top Gun Maverick. The movie Top could Gun be headed me. into production soon, with Variety <laughs> recently reporting that Oblivion director Joseph Kaczynski is at the top of the list to direct. Schnett buyers the possible title of Top Gun Maverick. <laughs> Ashley, I love your t-shirt. Is that Pixar? Thank Those you, are all like is. little Pixar movies, right? Yeah. I, I love that t-shirt so much. <laughs> okay, but I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> We're going to get about 40 animated gifts of what Ashley just did. And that is the exact look on John Schnepp's face when he's sitting in the front of the theater by himself. <laughs> <laughs> Dance for the me, ice man cometh. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, really quickly, you know. I like the ice man cometh. That was Top quick. Gun. Yeah, that's. I would, you know, I, the Val, the Val Kilmer might come back. I would love to see that happen. I just have that those Independence Day resurgence vibes when I hear about yeah. this movie. I love the first Top Gun. It does not need a sequel. We don't need Harold Faltermeyer's score back. We don't live in the '80s anymore. We don't need, we don't need a little refresher course. If I want to see that, I could watch Top Gun. I am dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been good at that. I can't. You want to get the back? snap? I can't. Can I you am do dangerous. That, you get the little Ooh. pop in there. Yeah. See, I can't get the pop. I nice. literally unhinged my jaw to do that. That hurt more than I Ooh, thought it would. You were committed to that. Yeah. All right. Uh, here's the thing. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Like, I joked about it in our pre production meeting, but I honestly mean it. At this point, like, <laughs> look, nothing will ever touch the place that Top Gun has in all of our hearts as one of the all time classic. For those of us who are children of the 80s, like, it was an anthem of movies at the time. Yeah. I mean, yes, it's amazing. But the only way they're going to get me interested in this movie at all is if they title it Top Gun, The Return of Goose. Like, if that's the <laughs> only <laughs> way. Because then that raises some possibilities. Goose's about, Revenge. Goose's yes. Revenge. Maverick wakes up in a cold sweat, dog tags hang in there. Like, Ooh. oh my God, he's so pissed I threw them in the Indian Ocean. <laughs> he's back. Like, honestly, the title is, like, Tom Cruise announces the title is Top Gun Me. I like that. I I am not sorry. Not I love Tom Cruise. I love Top Gun. I have zero interest in this movie at this point. Jeremy, it reminds me of Kenneth Branagh from Chamber of Secrets. His book's called Magical Me. <laughs> it's like this really dishy <laughs> autobiography. Yeah, um, yeah I, I I would have taken a Goose prequel called Duck Duck Goose. Honestly, that would have been fine. You know, he's like, he's like, Hey, Duck, want to be my wingman? Let's go out there. Let's solve it. It is a little weird that they're keeping it with the '80s vibe. When, like Schnepp said, we're not in the '80s. If it took place in the '80s, I'd be totally fine with that. I I, I like that. But it clearly does it because you're going to look at Val Kilmer like, Iceman, what happened? You know, mm. like everyone's going to clearly be older. Like, we're not in the same decade. So I don't know why it sounds like the same decade. Um, if they wanted to make another Top Gun-ish movie that does take place in the 80s with a new crew, that would make sense for that. I, I'm with you. Like, Top Gun has a deep place in my heart. Not only was it, you know, like a kid of the 80s, so you watched it a lot. My dad was the only guy I knew who had 5.1 surround sound. And any time someone on the block was over, he was like, I got to show you something. I got to show you my surround sound. I'm like, here comes Top Gun. Because that first scene where the planes and jets are flying around, you, just, you do. You hear it all around your head. And it was the go-to movie for him to pop in and be like, check this out. Oh, you could sit in the middle of the room. Sit in the middle of the room. That's where, and, and it was it was a surround sound fiesta. So that maybe okay, that's why I'm not. What, what if? Okay, what if? Maybe we're not giving these guys enough credit. What if Tom Cruise, Val Kilmer, totally take Top Gun Two in a Twenty One Jump Street direction? And they're just, it's, no. just, it's an R-rated yeah. comedy of these guys. We're going to show these young pilots how it's done. Top and Gun wingmen. Yeah. yeah. It's like, what's going on? It's R-rated. Kenny, is Kenny Loggins is back. Highway to the <laughs> You guys are zone. sowing the good name of Top Gun, and I will not stand for it, damn it. We deserve a t sequel to Top Gun. You could name this thing anything, and I would be over the moon about it. You could name this Top Gun, Jester's Colonoscopy. You could name this Top Gun, Slider's Volleyball. You could name this Top Gun, The Iceman Cometh, The Return of Cougar. I don't care what you name it. I want a Top Gun, too. I've been begging for it. Here's what I'll say about the title, okay? Tom Cruise sequels recently don't have the best title. 
This is the best one. Top Gun, never go back. Out of, yeah. out of never go back, out of live, die, repeat, and again and again, and Top Gun yeah. Maverick. Jack, that's the best. Jack Jake Reacher, Lopez reach around. We've ever had. So, I've seen that movie, by the way. This movie, movie. It's, it's, really it's actually not, it, it's an underrated movie. Um, For Top Gun 2 yeah, Maverick. Sasha Gray was in what that, What it does do is that it says, it, it lets the audience know. Bar none that, yes, your favorite pilot, Tom Cruise, is returning for the movie. As opposed to calling it, like, Top Gun Resurgence. The new class. Yeah, Top Gun. <laughs> <laughs> no! Say <laughs> by the bell. But Screech is still there. <laughs> we get Dustin Diamond out of prison in time. I just think I, I'm, I'm so excited about Top Gun. Too. And, and the Harold Faltermeyer score is not to be overlooked. John Schnepp. Yes, it can. As long as Steve Stevens comes back to Kenny, the Kenny Loggins has got to be on that. That's what I I'm talking about. Two though. things will will resurrect Kenny Loggins' career. If Kenny Loggins' career comes back, it'll be because of two things. One, because of Top Gun 2, and two, because of Archer. If you watch the show, you know what I'm talking about.